What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with a quick follow-up review for an episode that I released in early January. And so the follow-up review is for the podcast app Antenna Pod. So last month I started looking around for a or in summary, I started looking around for a podcast app to replace Pocket Cast because we haven't seen many updates in a while. Um the future of the app is uncertain as um, the coalition that bought them from the original creators of Pocket Cast are looking to sell it. And I came across a good pocket podcast app called AntennaPod. So I wanted to give my thoughts now that I've been using it exclusively for a month and see how it compares to um, Pocket Cast and give my overall recommendations of their positives and negatives. So as far as a summary of Pocket Cast and why I like it, is because it has a good UI. It's relatively easy to use, even with the changes that they made, um, I want to say a couple of years ago now, compared to the prior layout that it had. Um, and among my favorite features are its volume boost slash normalization feature that allows you to kind of hear all your podcasts at the same level, relatively speaking, even though they might be re- recorded at different um, volume so overall a good feature there and then its ability to play over notifications is good so I can keep my volume on but the uh, notifications do not interrupt the podcast playback um, and then it does have other features like trim silence vol- um, playback speed and stuff like that which leads me into antenna pod so as far as um, similar features in antenna pod is the vault playback speed and um, trimming silence so good match there but the um, feature that I miss the most is the volume boost and normalization feature so when you don't have that feature you realize how varied podcast volumes are recorded at so it's one of those things that keeps me coming back to pocket cast um, among um, aside from the one feature that I do really like in AntennaPod, which is the podcast feed refresh rate. So the one thing you notice when you are using AntennaPod over Pocket Cast is how quickly podcasts are refreshed. So let's say you get a notification, um, and notably in my test it was for um, po- um, podcast episodes posted at Patreon, is that um, when a new episode is posted you can usually refresh within um i want to say at most a couple of minutes and the podcast will um, show up and download for you whereas in pocket cast it does take or it can vary anywhere from a couple of minutes to i've noticed up to about half an hour but there is a good amount of delay in pocket cast and refreshing your feed so let's say um you know that a podcast um host um posts a new episode every day at 4 30 p.m and you get off work at 5 um, you can rest assured in antenna pod that you can refresh your uh, podcast list and the episode will show up whereas in pocket cast it does not necessarily do that so you can sometimes expect it at 4 35 or 4 55 or 5 15 it all depends so the one thing that i don't like about pocket cast especially uh, you know, I mean, you notice it in general, but when you compare it to Antenna Pod, it's more noticeable. And one of those things I kind of wish for in a Pocket Cast is that they would fix that or reduce that amount of um, variation in refresh rates so that Pocket Podcast ref- refresh that much more quickly. Because if you do want to get up and go and uh, listen to an episode, then it's hard to rely on Pocket Cast to do that. Whereas before... I want to say that it was a lot better about it or a lot less noticeable. So instead of maybe a 20 to 30 minute variance, it would be like 5 to 15 minutes. So not as big of a deal, but a lot better than it used to be. So um, as far as um, points given, I want to say that each client is equally strong in what they do best. So Pocket Cast, I give definite points to the volume normalization and um, playing over notifications, whereas um, antenna pod, I give points to the refresh rate and or um, refresh time, I guess, refresh variance, whatever you want to call it, and simplicity of use. Overall, antenna pod is a lot easier to use, in my opinion, than 
um, Pocket Cast just because of how easier, how much easier it is to use. But then, when you don't have a feature that you're used to, I guess it's one of those things that makes it easy to miss. Um, I guess there's a way, or and then reading about it online and from the developer's website, apparently there are ways to integrate it, but it's just a matter of getting that uh, volume normalization integrated. But as of their review, it's not there yet. But I'm not going to fault it for not having it because the positives that it does have are that much better so if i was to recommend a podcast client today um i would recommend either one of the two um pocket cast has the easier ui so if you're someone getting into it then um it might be the way to go but if but also on the flip side um antenna pod can be given the same um review that it's it's bare bones it's straightforward it's easy to use it's a, you can it's easy to add an individual podcast or search for a new podcast and add it to your subscription list um so it all depends on i guess the visual aspect of um, each client so whatever whichever one is more visually appealing to you then that's the way to go and in my opinion both are equally good uh, pocket cast is a little bit more flashier but as I mentioned, Atena Pod is a lot more um, minimalist, so it all depends on the way which one you want you prefer to look at and go from there. Um, and as I mentioned, for me, the volume normalization is a big feature, so that's kind of why I lean towards Pocket Cast. Um, and the other thing is is that um, Pocket Cast does have its um, syncing across platforms, so you can use it on Android, iOS, and the web. Um, AntennaPod has a syncing uh, feature with GPodder, so you can create your account and um, sync your podcast to the website, but I found that it has an issue with Patreon feeds, and it creates a hiccup in how the feed is read, so um, early, I tried using that feature for, I, or it was okay for, I want to say, for a good couple of weeks, but then after that, there was a weird issue where I started reading the feeds as websites instead of RSS feeds, so it would not refresh the Patreon feeds, but it would refresh everything else. So um, that kind of threw a kink in the process of using the app, but once I turned off the syncing with GPodder, everything seemed to be fine. So um, with AntennaPod, you are kind of stuck at the moment with um, using the app only on the single device, but you can export your podcast as backup to an OPML file, which is supported by most podcast clients. So if you do decide to switch away from AntennaPod to somewhere else, then um, it is just as easy to switch. So that's kind of all there is for this particular review. Um, I did poke around with a few other um, podcast apps. And there, there are some that are good and better or worse than others, but for me, these two are the ones that I was able to settle on as far as overall ease of use, consistency, um, visual appeal, syncing, and all of that. So um, for me, if you don't care about how quickly your podcast refresh, or you don't mind, you know, a 20 to 30 minute variance in syncing, but you do want volume normalization, then Pocket Cast is the way to go. If you don't care about the volume normalization, but you do want your podcast to refresh as soon or almost as soon as they're posted, um, and you want a more minimal minimalist UI, then Antenna Pod is the way to go. And as a caveat, and something I should have mentioned at the top of this review, is that both apps were tested on Android, so um, this is kind of the Android review for both. Um, I still have would not recommend um, Google Podcasts, although it is kind of in between AntennaPod and um, Pocket Cast, but for me the UI is not very user friendly, and um, for me it's just, I mean, the visual appeal is there, and you can do a lot of the features that you get in both AntennaPod and um, Pocket Cast, but just the visual layout of it is not very user friendly, it's kind of all over the place. Um, adding rss feeds is kind of is hidden away even though it's one of those things that should be pretty obvious um subscribing is okay adding to a queue is okay but it's more focused on discovery than um a bear or a a podcast client that you might want to use um if you're 
a, I want to say a generally more experienced podcast use client user or just someone who knows what they want to listen to and wants um, currently or new content over played content so things like that and um, I do plan to go back into it to see about hiding played content because that's kind of annoying to ha- to still see that. Um, although there are visual indicators for when an episode is played, so but that's neither here nor there. Um, so for me, as of this episode, I do recommend Antenna Pod or Pocket Cast as the client to go for as, for the reasons I mentioned. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, your own um, podcast client that you want to recommend, then you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. Um, the website's PatelN01.com for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning in, and until next time.